Yeah, Lauren Drew, the flash flooding began Saturday afternoon after a rainstorm caused Brushy Fork Creek to overflow. I spoke to a man who's lived next to the creek for more than 50 years. He says it was the craziest thing he's ever seen. I've never witnessed this kind of devastation. Roadways destroyed, debris wedged between fences, cars stuck in trees. Just one day after watching a flash flood wreak havoc on his neighbors, Gary Emmel found out the flood claimed the life of a woman, a person he knew. I really don't know. I was, I'm kind of in shock. Uh, it's just devastating. Because the flood not only took a life. It took uh, roughly 200 brown bales of hay. It also destroyed livelihoods. We work all, all summer long, of cutting, raking, and baling it, then hauling it home, and we store it. And then in the wintertime, that's what we feed the livestock. And that's all they have to eat. This year, tough choices will have to be made. I'm sure we're going to downsize and have to sell some, but we'll be able to start over and, and build back up. It will take several years. Jefferson County emergency management officials say more than 20 different buildings in the area sustained damage as a result of the storm. Two homes are destroyed. Several bridges washed out, a um, couple houses missing, uh, cars everywhere, and a lot of road damage. It's, it's going to be several weeks before, you know, everything's open. Aside from the hay bales, Emil also lost a calf, his trailer is destroyed, and his electric fence is ruined. Still, he considers himself one of the lucky ones, even if it means starting back at square one. Everything is just, it's, it's bad. It's, it's bad for everybody. And being a small farmer, you could almost take you out. But uh, we'll make it. Now, at this point, there have been no other reports of injuries due to that flooding. At least eight agencies are working together to continue to assess the damage. They're urging non-residents to avoid the area. Live in the newsroom, I'm Minaj Kungwari. Back to you.